But one of the things that the man of God said to Eli in verse 29, he said, to make yourselves fat. This wasn't, this was someone speak, this was a man of God speaking to Eli. So this was to Eli and to his children. He was included in the making yourselves. He didn't say making themselves. He said making yourselves, you and your children, fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of Israel, my people. Look at uh, chapter 4 and verse number 18. Chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible says, And it came to pass when he made mention of the ark of God. This, is, this was after, you know, there's this battle and uh, his sons go off to war and they take the ark and, you know, they end up losing the fight because God's not with them. And uh, the Philistines take the, the ark of God. You know, that's, that's taken from, uh, it, it's captured basically. They, they've, they've taken it. And Eli's hearing the report of what happened in the war. It says here, and when it came to pass, when he made mention of the ark of God, that he fell from off the seat backward by the side of the gate and his neck break and he died. So as soon as he hears that the, the ark of God was taken, he falls off his chair, cracks his neck, dies. It says, for he was an old man and heavy. And he had judged Israel 40 years. Heavy means he was fat. He had made himself fat. Fat. That was an area of life. He wasn't able to say no to the food. He wasn't able to say no. He had, he had a gluttonous heart and would not withhold this food from himself. And because of that, his children ended up having that same type of desire, except his children took it even further. And one thing you have to realize is that your children are going to see what you do and whatever sins you have and whatever it is that you're doing they're going to end up seeing that. Most likely, they're going to end up doing that and doing even worse. The children always seem to take things one step further because you start to see, well, if it's okay for dad to do this, I mean, dad's doing it. Dad's the example. If dad's doing this, well, I'm going to do it too. We see David had multiple wives. David had seven wives or ten wives or however many wives he had. And then look at Solomon. Oh, well, if, I mean, if it's okay for dad to have a few extra wives, I might as well have 700. What's the difference? Just take it even further to the extreme. <coughs> and this is just a basic truth. You'll see this time and time again in households where you allow that little bit of sin in your house, in your life, and just condone it. And okay, And look, None of us are perfect, but you got to be aware and you definitely got to watch out for just what you're allowing to happen in your house because the kids will see that as being confirmed as, well, that's okay. And they'll also see some hypocrisy in you if you say and you do not. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't do this. And then you're doing it. The kids are going to see and learn from the example more than they're going to learn from just what's coming out of your mouth. You need to lead by example. Eli was a bad example of not being able to control his own appetite. And his children took it one step further. <coughs> your sins will affect your children. So we're going to start off. You want to be a good father. Work on yourself first. Focus on your life and getting sin out of your life and realizing that everything that you do is going to have an impact on your children. 